No one can be the slave of two masters. He will either hate the first and love the second, or treat the first with respect and the second with scorn. You cannot be the slave both of God and of money. That is why I am telling you not to worry about your life and what you are to eat, nor about your body and how you are to clothe it. Surely life means more than food and the body more than clothing. Look at the birds in the sky. They do not sow or reap or gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not worth much more than they are? Can any of you, for all his worrying, add one life, single cubit to his span of life? And why worry about clothing? Think of the flowers growing in the fields. They never have to work or spin. Yet I assure you that not even Solomon in all his regalia was robed like one of these. Now, if that is how God clothes the grass in the field, which is there today and thrown into the furnace tomorrow, will he not much more look after you, you of little faith? So do not worry, do not say, what are we to eat? What are we to drink? How are we to be clothed? It is the bacons who set their hearts on these things. Your heavenly Father knows you need them all. Set your hearts on his kingdom first and on his righteousness and all these other things will be given you as well. So do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. That's an interesting reading, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. You know, it's funny because if I think if I like the bit that says you know, they don't work and they don't twirl and look how your heavenly father looks after them. I can think, great, I don't have to work. But I don't actually think that was what Jesus was on about. I, yeah, I know the reading scheme, you know, always challenges me, sister. Mm. And it just gets you to think about, you know, what exactly is our goal in this life. Don't so, you think? So what do you reckon that one's saying? Well, it's just interesting how in the beginning, you know, it talks about, you know, not serving two masters. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and you compare that to how life is it with us now. Mm -hmm. And it is just so true that, you know, we have to know who is master of our life. But mm -hmm. most of the time we're really into material things that we lose, or well, I lose focus of the fact that mm. God is, you know, my God right. first and foremost, yes. so anything else is, you know, yes. secondary. Mm. Do, do you do what I do sometimes? I, I get caught up in things material and work and what I have to do, and I start feeling very anxious and fretful, and then sometimes I go home at night and I sit down and I think about the day, I reflect on it, and I think, wow. I got lost there. I lost the sense of the big picture of God being there and of God caring. And I kind of had to take a step back and say, this doesn't all have to be accomplished today or yesterday. You know, it's in God's time, it's Kairos time, it's it's when God's ready that it'll be done. Mm. You know? Yeah, that is so true. Sometimes I think that, you know, Christianity is not easy. Mm. But the way I see it, it's the only way we should be living life to, mm -hmm. you know, be children of God. Mm -hmm. And then do you also think of how the reading will say that you've got to seek first the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. yes, and then yes. everything else will fall yeah. into place. Yeah. And if, if if I think about what the kingdom of God is to me, it's a kingdom of love and peace. That's right. And it doesn't mean I'm wishy washy. It means I'm strong and firm, but I know that it's love that I'm about mm -hmm. and peace that I'm about, not a worrying, frenetic, fast way of life to accomplish more. Mm, mm. That's right. Yeah. And no, it's a challenge, but we need to see it in the way God yeah. wants us to, right. yeah, yeah. to see it yeah. and just live that vision. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And I guess for me, the way, what helps me to do that is that time I take to reflect on my day and see how things have been this day and where I might like to set my sail tomorrow, you know? Mm. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, it's quite good that you know we try to 
spend some time reading the Bible because it mm. teaches mm. me, you yes. know, yes. things that I should really be putting in, you know, before yeah. the everyday stuff. It, it quietens us down inside, doesn't that's it? That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's um, something for us to think about in the week as we go through and we'll hear this gospel again on Sunday. And, um, you know, it'll be really good to have these thoughts in our heads when we hear it in, at Mass or, or at church on Sunday. Yes, that's right. Yeah. I know when I hear it in the church and I'm thinking, oh, please keep that thought you know, inside yes. me because, you know, it's just so um, overwhelming mm. when you think about, you know, how... God is of love and he's yeah. there with us yeah. no matter what. And mm. God will help us keep that. Point. That's right. Nice to be talking with you, Malia. Thank you, sister, for the opportunity. Thank you for being with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs>